viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Mech Commander. We're finished with the first operation, now we're on to the second Skyhook. Let's look at our badly pixelated briefing, shall we? Incoming transmission. The success of Operation Beachhead opens the way for our advance. Your next goal will be to cut Jaguar supply and communication lines. The Clanners have already begun using the railroads to bring up fresh units, and they've diverted their Omnimex to protect their supply convoys. You'll find the Jaguar supply depots in the area to be quite well stocked. These are also heavily guarded. But the contents of their armories will be worth your extra effort. From our rebel friends, we have the location of several clan communication bases. The coordinates will be downloaded with your mission specifics. These are priority targets. We cannot allow the enemy to call up for reinforcements. Battalion will do their best to meet your needs. You will face the Jaguar's best. I pray you are hitting hard. Psst, whatever. Battalion. Yours aren't any battalion. I have saved reload. Check that out. It's my brand new catapult. You notice that all I'm missing is one LRM rack and a sensor basic, which means refitting and repairing is a snap. Back up to spec. Get the rest of our guys out here. Yeah, the Mad Cat took a bit of a heavier beating than the last in the original video. One more thing I wanted to do too for the other. Yeah, clan launch pulse laser. I was hoping for a, another clan ER. Take out that SR missile pack and maybe put something else in there, but. Man, I have a lot of those guys. Too bad they sell for peanuts. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, 205 resource points. Yay! Whoa, and that repair also ate up about 16,000 of my resource points. Oof. So, starting with Operation 2, we have more weapons available. Still no PPCs, unfortunately. Wow, must have missed that last time. Gauze rifle. So, it's only got 16 shots, unfortunately, despite its very long range. Hmm, I wonder. Do we have... We do. Refit trucks. 35 tons, but it will repair your armor and replenish your ammo in the field. Very useful. No good pilots. Actually, what's the... That was retarded. Back to the game. Let's take a look at the mission first before we equip our guys. So, four slots. Whoa, 150 tons. That's nothing. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, so the hunchback on that side of the river. We're on this side of the river. We have to meet up at some point and get here. The easiest way to do it is to bring the hunchback across one of these bridges and then cut it actually cut both using some of our artillery strikes. The downside being that there are aerospace spotters. In fact, that's probably in the tactical notice here. Aerospace spotter vehicle will stop, will drop airstrikes. Yep. And it will level the bridge. Now on the upside, the airstrikes aren't nearly as damaging as my artillery, so I should be able to get away with one or two bits on the bridge. And sensor probes. Oh, we get one of those two. Sensor probes, say I drop it right there, or in that lake, it'll give me a pretty, about that much of the map, so it's a pretty big area but it slowly decreases over time. Anyhow, feel free to pause and read the briefing here. Long story short, we can't bring a lot of mechs because battalion transport is limited in time, and we can't bring a lot of weight for that same reason. So, leave the expensive clan mech at home. Well, not the expensive one, that's the one here, but Hitman, Hunter, Scarab. Don't really need to do a lot of other customization for this one. Let's do it. Commencing deployment. Mechorians. Yeah, there's Falcon and there's a couple units moving in. So first things first, you want to go south this way. Get up on the hill for a better vantage point. Um, you might have noticed that there are a couple of points up here on that map that show industrial areas. They're actually just barns manufacturing. There's nothing there to actually capture, unfortunately. Scarab here. We seem to have a new trait. Ugh. Yeah, feel free to power up now. Enemy vehicle destroyed. And that familiar sound you heard was a heavy auto cannon. In fact, it was a clan heavy auto cannon. There's only one problem for that particular gun. This is Scarab. There's a new sensor contact. She has eight shots left for it. Dead on, sir. Now again, at this point in the game, there's it's not balanced for you to 
You're bringing a mad cat to the show? So if you lead with it, it's got enough firepower to take on most of what you're going to run into here, which I believe is our just Sakharin tanks. Yeah. Now, that's another spotter over there. How terrible are you? Four rounds left for auto cannon. You can't hit crap. Seriously, you can't hit anything. Falcon, just get your get over here. This is embarrassing to watch. Scarab here. We seem to have a new trait. Incoming fire. You're terrible. Kill it. Oh my god. So here's a prime example of the numbers working against me. Falcon's getting pretty chewed up by a harasser, which for the record carries four SRM packs. I am now out of ammo. Took it out, sir. Yeah, good job. There's a new sensor contact. Now the reason I'm blowing that up is because uh, there's about 20 condors coming in, and they carry large pulse lasers. Those will ruin your day. Now, the, these guys carry auto cans, so they also suck, but I'm hoping that we can drill them out first. Yeah, Hitman took some pretty decent armor damage there. Center torso got pretty mangled. Now, that fuel truck I shot there should have taken out the bridge, and it did. Good stuff. I'm on it, sir. Oh my god, why are you even... You were a giant waste of time. Thank you, Mad Cat. Hitman. Now, it's a bit of a race, because we've got to get to that extraction point for all those condors make their way around and through the shallows. Cutting the two bridges doesn't stop them from getting access. Now to show you what else I'm up against. Yeah, that's a lot of mechs you might have noticed there. So. See, I get I want to leave with my mad cap, but I really don't want it losing any of its weapons. That stuff's irreplaceable, especially the ERPPCs. Yeah, you see them just filing through here. Yeah. Oh, clan large pulse lasers. Even better. So that's uh, very unfortunate. Piece of cake. Let's see how that did, shall we? So, one more mech coming through. What's it packing? That is some good damage. Oh, I gotta get. Come on, guys, take it up or it does some damage. Yes! Nothing to salvage, but... Hollander... Okay, there's a Hollander there as well, so gauze rifle. So yeah, two Hunchbacks and a Hollander. Not very much fun. Actually, I'm just gonna... We'll get from a safe distance. There we go. Now, you might be tempted to run right from the extraction point, 
don't. As the battalion commander said, there's lots of well-stocked stores here. So let's watch it rack up, shall we? Four LRM racks. Two heavy flamers, two light ACs. Two clan sensor basic, so better than your average stuff. Not too shabby at all. And again, the rest here. Up there, rather. Not important. There are a couple clan mechs, and I am tempted to try and move in on them to get some better salvage for clan weapons, because they're, oh, they're all light. If push comes to shove, I'll just get the heck out and extract, but I really want that clan weaponry. We seem to have a new trait. Yeah, here it comes. Oh, and I got it. Don't think I'm going to catch that one. Look at those missiles just volleying. Oh! That was a critical core. And you know what? I'm going to call it there because I don't want to get ducked out in those condors. So there is another one up there. Another mech. I'm not sure if it's a cougar or if it's a an uller. I'm pretty sure it's an uller. Let's get moving, guys. Plus, I get a clan mech for free anyhow in the Falcon, complete with clan ultra AC. Actually, maybe I could pull it in here. Get in there, Scarab. See if you can pull him away. So as I recall, I've got a new sensor. Yeah, here it comes. Let's get back on this side of the map, though, shall we? He shut down, or is he not coming anymore? That's weird. Oh no, nope, he's coming. Cougar weapon variant. Oh, really? You're going to be that nice to me? Okay. Let's drop an artillery strike on him. Oh, that definitely ruined his day. Nah, nuts. Oh well. It's experience points. That's the important thing. And by experience points, of course, I mean gunnery skill attribute. You guys have a serious issue with uh, moving, don't you? Oh, it's because that... Yeah, there's that black line in the way, probably, it's doing it. Come on, Hunter. Yeah, so this mission, as long as you blow those bridges, is a pretty easy walk in the park. Now, if you end up fighting those condors and harassers, they will wear you down. And by the time you have to take on that uh, the hunchbacks and the Hollander, which of course carries the heavy auto cannons and the gauze rifle respectively, you'll just be stripped down of armor. And it's just a matter of time for you to get a critical hit. Or rather, they get a critical hit on you. But there we have it. Another mission under wraps. I need to put a better gunner in that hunchback. Mission objective complete. Mission successful. Commendation for no drop weight. That should just about cover my repair costs. Hey. Oh man, he's getting good. I 
I'm so stoked I managed to pick up that Cougar W. 200 tons. Destroy all power generators. Primitive alarms will alert nearby enemies do not destroy quickly. Okay, well, viewers, we've got a new pilot in the form of Falcon who couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. We've got a new mech that she took, which I will gladly take off her hands. And we're on the next mission. So viewers, as always, thank you for watching, and we'll be back for the next mission of Mech Commander. See you then.